Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I'm Muhammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about what is Azure Data Factory and its foundation. You all requested about to start this series, so even though I have taken a little bit time to do this, but here is the one. So from here on, we can continuously make a video on Azure Data Factory. Thanks for your patience. Now let's get started. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So what is Azure Data Factory? Basically, it is a cloud-based ETL and data integration services which we can create data-driven workflows for orchestrating and transforming data at scale. So, and also we can create data-driven workflows, which is also called Azure Pipelines. And then we can schedule these pipelines workflows in order to automate the process. And then we can build complex ETL processes by using Dataflow or using the compute services like HD Insights, Hadoop, Databricks, Azure Synapse Analytics. So one point to highlight here, this Azure Data Factory pipelines and Azure Synapse Analytics pipeline. So Azure Data Factory workflows and Synapse Analytics pipelines, both of them are similar and uh, both of them use the same functionality. Not everything, but almost. But Azure Data Factory is the first they have released as a separate product, but in Azure Synapse Analytics, they have combined all together this data factory functionality, BI, governance, and everything into one single place. So we discussed about the orchestration, right? So what does it mean actually? If you look at into this image here, now if you can see it here, this person actually, he is the one who is doing that. We discuss about this person, right? His person is actually this orchestra which in, who instructs the users to actually do the job. And those who are working here, these people, they do the job. Someone will play the violin, someone will play the drum here, and someone will play this uh, guitar here. So that is the actually work of this Azure Data Factory. So it actually has the tools, which is here like Hadoop, Insight, Apache, Spark, and other Cosmos DB and many other tools are there through that we can do our ETL process on the cloud. So now when it comes to data integration process, so what are the things and why it is useful for it? So basically we need to do the descriptive analytics, which we can do by using, by keeping our data into the data warehouse. And also we can make use of, this is using the predictive analysis, using predictive analytics, which we can use within HD Insights, Azure Data Breaks and machine learning. To do these two things, first of all, we need to do this ETL job, which is extract, transform and load. So basically we can collect it from the different, different data sources, and then we can clean the data, transform the data, and we need to store the data. So now let's look into this actually, what does it mean by extract? So in extract, we have two things. One is define data sources, which where we need to define the resource group, the subscriptions, the identity informations, with like key and secret, everything. And after that, we need to define the data, what and where to extract. And for an example, like to extract through the database query, through files or through blob storage. So this is about extract. Now, when it comes to the transform and load, the transform the data. So here we need to split the data, combine the data, derive the data, adding, removing, pivoting, data map, aggregating, or using match of the tables. So these things comes under the transformation of our data. So we can make use of this thing using many uh, tools. Like for example, we can make use of Power Query in the data flow to do this process. And after that, load the data. So once you get the data and transform, we need to load the data. 
so that is define so define the destination so the destination can be a json file or a general file or blob storage or an api so the adf offers azure functions node dot node.js and dot net python java if you are familiar with the programming language you can make use of that and after that we need to start the job or uh, schedule the job and then we need to monitor the job and also to log the records for the future reference so now when it comes to the etl tools so what are the things we have it in azure data factory so basically in azure data factory it provides 100 plus enterprise connectors for code free and code based developers so we can make use of these connectors and also azure data factory tools can handle unstructured data at unlimited scale so we can make use of azure hd insight or data breaks everything we can do that so now when it comes to azure data factory common data integration pattern so how we need to do that so basically it is comes under modern data warehousing workloads and this is basically useful for centralized data store which can be used for descriptive analytics and decision making which is used for historical data analysis and trend analysis and it is also a single source of truth and it can store unstructured structured and streaming data inside to that and the other part is advanced analytics workloads which you can make use of using predictive analytics using azure data bricks and hd insights so this is all about azure data factory foundations if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure to turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video